Hey, what's up? This is Scott with the Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to take our CSV file um, that you have made, or I have made, or whoever, and we're going to import it into Drupal and create nodes out of it. So to get started, you're going to want to have a CSV file. Mine's really simple. It has a name column and a body column, and basically uh, I have four titles here and four short non-sentences. And um, this is going to import into the body and this is going to import into the title. And I'm gonna show you how to do that using feeds for Drupal. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we're going to need to create this content type. Um, if you've already created your content type, great, skip ahead a little bit and get to the feed importer section where we're actually creating that. But I'm gonna create a content type here. And just so this is painfully obvious, we're going to call this um, feed. So feed, title, whatever. Um, I'm not going to display the, it doesn't really matter. I'm not really displaying this stuff anyways. Okay, so I'm going to just save the content type. And this is pretty much any uh, content type. You know, if you're creating one and you have all sorts of fields, you can have those fields import. Just keep on using this example and extend it to your own fields. Uh, but I'm just gonna show for simplicity's sake, just the title and the body in this one. So we don't have to add any fields. But if you want to, by all means, go ahead and try it out, okay? So now we have this content type. Now we're going to go to structure, feed importers, feeds importer, I'm sorry. And here's the one that we created last time. Um, if you haven't, just create, add, click add importer, and you can name it anything you want. I just named this simple CSV. And we're gonna start at the very top here, this basic settings, and we're gonna go down and we're going to configure this, okay? So let's click settings here. Um, and as you can see, it's simple CSV. Description can be whatever you want. If you have lots of feed importers, it's going to be helpful to name them and um, have their description so that you can, you know, decipher what the different ones are. So we're going to be using a standalone content form for this. I'm going to click import and it's going to import. And we're not going to have this periodically import and it's going to import on submission. Click save. Okay, now let's go to change. So the fetcher is uh, going to be a file upload and not an HTTP fetcher. This is a file I physically have on my um, on my hard drive here, and I'm going to upload it and then click import. So we'll click save here, and you'll see now it says file upload down here, so we can edit the file upload settings. And here are our allowed extensions. You can use TXT, CSV, TSV, XML, OPML. We're going to be using a CSV, so it's nice and easy, okay? Um, the supply path to file uh, or direct uh, directly, um, this is it's for experts. We're not going to do that anyway. So uh, basically, we're just going to click uh, browse, find the file, and then get it that way, okay? So parser, this is going to be a CSV parser because we're using a CSV. And so this is how feeds knows how to handle this file, okay? We'll click save and you'll see that this is now says CSV parser down here. We'll go to settings for that. Okay, the default delimiter. Of course, this is a comma separated file, so the delimiter is going to be commas. However, if yours is separated by semicolons or tabs, it can also do that, okay? And this no headers, check to see if the, uh, does not start off with a head header row. Um, this does start off with a header row, uh, I would recommend it if you're controlling your CSV file just to do it, okay? So we didn't change anything there, so now it's on to processor. Okay, we're going to want to create nodes. The nodes we're creating are of our feeds uh, content type. So let's go to settings. And um, what we want to do is we want to um, update existing nodes. So uh, let's say we change something in our feed and then we re-upload the feed. It's just going to change that data. It says it's a little bit slower, but we only have um, four items in our feed, so it's not going to be a big deal. And the content type is going to be feed, because that's the content type we just made. Of course, it could be anything if you'd like. We could even import these into a basic page if we wanted to. Um, so text format, we'll leave it as plain text. It's no big deal right now. But of course, if you, you know, had a preference for that when you're importing your body text, you're gonna wanna select that here. The author, we can have this be, this be Scott. Okay, nodes expire, never. Click save on this, and then mapping. Okay, so this is where 
the uh, headers come into play, right? So let's select a target here. We have our title, and we want our title to be the name column. So let's use this name right here. We'll come back to our Drupal, and the name of the source field is going to be name. And the target is title, so now these names are going to get imported into title. Okay, and now we're going to select body. And if you look on your spreadsheet, it's whatever it is. On ours, it's body, so it's nice and easy. Of course, it could be anything you wanted. And we're going to click add. So keep in mind, when you're importing feeds, you have to have something that is a unique target. Usually, if you have like an ID or something that's getting imported, you're going to want to use that. Um, if we go to our spreadsheet, uh, you'll see that all of my feed titles are unique. Um, and they're going to be unique for this example. Um, so we're going to just going to say that the title is unique. However, you're going to want to make sure that whatever you're clicking here is, uh, in fact, and always going to be unique. Okay, so now let's click Save. If we see this legend, um, this just like sort of tells you what each of these targets are. Of course, you can probably figure them out by what they're called, but if you need help, this is what they are. Um, okay. So now we have our feed is all ready to go. It knows where to look for each of these um, targets and it knows what to do. So now's the fun part. Now we get to import the feed. If you remember in the last video, I said that our feed importer would be available at our domain slash import. Okay, and here I'll list all of the different feed importers you have. Um, uh, sorry, this is a little small here. Um, this says simple CSV. So this is our feed that we created click that and um, so okay this is gonna be easier to read with your theme I should probably just put this on uh, back on Garland or whatever for a second or Bartik I guess um, so import CSV files with one or more of these columns name and body okay the column name is mandatory and, uh, and considered unique which it is and our file is going to be delimited by commas and again you can check if there's no headers in your particular file here but we have headers so um, if you had a Google spreadsheet, you can just click File, um, Download as CSV, okay? Um, if not, you have any other sort of CSV, just export it as you choose. Um, make sure it's saved as a CSV. So I'm going to click Choose File right here. It's going to bring up in this uh, dialog box. And of course, mine's in my Downloads, and it should be right at the top here, okay? So I'm going to check this, and Untitled Spreadsheet, whatever. Um, and we're going to click import and this is going to import our notes if all is if all is correct okay so let's click import so I'm sorry you can't really see this it's a little small but it says status no imported items okay so the problem is somewhere in our importer um, and let's actually check it out um, let's go to the basic settings here and you'll notice somehow this import on submission got unchecked I might have done that when I was clicking around by accident and just did not notice it. Um, so import on submission needs to be checked here. Um, so sorry about that. And let's go back to our feed. And now let's, uh, as you can see, it already has our file. Your file name will be right here. So we don't have to upload it again. You can just click import. And this time you see that there is actually a progress bar going across. It says it created four nodes. Okay. So let's check out our find content here. And you can see the feed worked imported correctly. Okay. And let's go to edit. And the body is also here. It also looks like it didn't save um, my author for some reason. Maybe I just uh, was clicking around too fast or something. Okay, so let's change this a little bit. Let's go back to our feed here. And let's, let's change some of these. Okay, um, I have no idea. Okay, and actually let's add a couple more. This title needs to be unique. Okay, and now I'm going to download this as a CSV again. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to our importer. I'm going to do a choose file, and I'm going to grab the new one. This one right here. We're going to open this. We're going to import again. Okay, so now you can see it says created two nodes and updated one node. Uh, that's awesome. So uh, if we refresh our content here, 
you can see our new items and the updated one, which we changed, the title changed, and if we go to the body, you can see uh, the bodies here as well, okay? So this imported node uh, information off of a CSV and turned it into nodes. If you wanted to delete all of the items we just created, um, in your and most Drupal themes up top here, there'll be several rows of buttons. They'll say import delete items log. I have mine up here just because I usually do that on my projects for some reason I, I enjoy it. I'm gonna click delete items and we'll click delete. And just like that, if we go to find content, it deleted all of the feed items. So let's say you import some data and it's not quite right. Um, and instead of just updating it, you just want to get rid of it completely. That's an easy way to make sure that the content that you've brought in with that feed, it can just be deleted. Okay, well, that's how you import a CSV file using Drupal's feeds. In the next lesson, I'm going to show you how to use an RSS feed that's on the internet to import into nodes. Once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and thanks for watching.